Hey friends, and welcome back to City Light Kids. I am Ashley, and I'm so excited that you are here with us this morning to learn from God's Word. If you've been gathering with us for the last few weeks, you should remember that we've taken a break to celebrate Christmas. And I hope that you had a great Christmas. And remember why we celebrate Christmas, to celebrate Jesus' birth. But remember that the whole Bible points to Jesus. And so we're going to jump back into our story where we were before we took a break from our story and jump in to the Gospels. This morning, our Bible story today comes from Luke 24 and John 20. And if you're forgetful for me, let me help remind you where we are. Jesus has raised from the dead after he died on the cross for our sins so that we could be restored in relationship with God, what sin had broken, Jesus defeated. And so now we're just after Jesus has appeared to the disciples on their way to Emmaus. And now we find the other disciples in Luke 24 and John 20, scared and hiding in a room with all of the doors locked. There was no way in. But what we're gonna see today is that if the grave couldn't keep Jesus out or down, Neither can some locked doors. So let's listen to our story. On the first day of the week, in the evening, the disciples gathered together in a house. They locked the doors because they were afraid of the Jews. They didn't want to be killed like Jesus had been killed. But some of Jesus' disciples had reported seeing him alive. Was it true? As the disciples talked, Jesus appeared among them and said, Peace to you. The disciples were afraid. They thought they were seeing a ghost. It's me, Jesus said. Look at me and touch me. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, but I do. Jesus showed his disciples his hands and his side. They saw his wounds. The disciples rejoiced because they were so happy to see Jesus. The disciples gave Jesus some fish to eat. Jesus talked to them and explained the Bible to them. The Bible is about me, Jesus said. He helped them understand how the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms told about him. Then Jesus told the disciples that they had a job to do. Jesus had died and was raised from the dead so that people could be forgiven for their sins. The disciples needed to tell other people to repent from their sins and be forgiven. Jesus said, God sent me to earth, and in the same way, I am sending you. One of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus visited him. He did not believe that Jesus was alive. Thomas said, I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe. A week later, Thomas was with the disciples when Jesus appeared again. Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Reach out and touch my side. Don't be an unbeliever, believe. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. For 40 days, Jesus presented himself to more than 500 people and proved that he is alive. Jesus is still alive today. We have not seen Jesus, but if we believe in him, we will be blessed. He sends out believers to tell others about him and gives us power through the Holy Spirit. Wow, have you guys ever heard such good news that you didn't even believe it was true? Like you kind of questioned it. I'm sure that's how some of Jesus' disciples felt. After they heard that Jesus had raised from the dead, they remembered that he said that he was going to die and rise again. But rising from the dead is easier said than done. But Jesus proved that he was alive by showing his disciples. And he didn't just show up. He was present. He ate with them and he allowed them to feel the marks that were on his hands. And Thomas, 
who wasn't with the others at the time, heard that he had come, Thomas was scared and he said, I'm not going to believe until I see Jesus for myself. He doubted. You know, it was foolish of Thomas to doubt. And oftentimes we think that. Thomas refused to believe, but in many ways, guys, I'm just like Thomas. I don't always believe that God's plan is what's best. And often I live my life and make sinful choices for what Ashley wants. Do you guys ever do that? You know, full belief in Jesus looks like understanding that Jesus is king of our lives and trusting that his ways are always best. We choose to believe and obey Jesus and obey what God says, not because we have to, but because of God's great love that he sent Jesus to die and be victorious. And so because we love God, we want to obey him. And so like I said though, guys, I don't always choose to obey him. Sometimes I think that his ways are better, than, my ways are better than his ways. Does that make sense? Do you guys ever just want to do what you want to do? Well, Jesus came just for that. And so when we sin and make wrong choices that don't look like we completely trust God and we aren't living in full belief of Jesus, we can ask God to change our hearts. We can ask God to help us love him more. And we can ask God to help us walk in obedience because of his great love for us. And you guys, he did it. He sent Jesus to die for those things that we could be in relationship with him when we choose to believe. Let's pray and thank God. God, we thank you for Jesus. God, you are a God that sent Jesus to come up close that we could know you personally, God. God, thank you for Jesus, that he came to be near and showed up for the disciples. God, we thank you that you show up for us similarly. Would you help us to trust you? Would you help us to surrender what we want? And would you change the desires of our heart? Not for what we can do, God, but because of your love and for your name and your glory. In these things we pray. Amen.